Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. And we are now finally in the secret laboratory where we have to, first of all, clear things out, which we, of course, will instantly do. Um, we have a little bit of a problem here because we do not have to do much space to kite so my plan here of course was first of all destroying the automated cannons and then we deal with the small guys right here and we made it it was really sharp i had a little bit i was a little bit afraid that we would die because you know tight spaces here are never a good idea in this game Huge. And on we go. Let's get the gun. Don't have any healing potions. Okay, here we now need to be a little bit careful. I honestly haven't seen the big guy there before. Which, you know, his there's always a little bit... It's, you know, hard to deal with him because if you do not see him shooting at you and then the his bullet is coming out of the corner it and it hits you you are in a world of hurt his mortar as you can see there is really really powerful the only good part of course is that his one hand his firing rate is really really slow and that you know the guy in it itself is really really slow so I need healing not potions. too much to be afraid of you just have you know shoot move shoot move at the right moment which i have a feeling is in this game actually you know a thing you always have to do you know getting out of trouble and engaging against getting out Anyhow, that doesn't concern us right now. I want to take down these guys. Come on. They are quickly dealt with. I have to say the little Ornithopters are a little annoying. They are one of the enemies I do not like too, too much because, you know, they do such a ton lot of damage and of course you can't um, oh yeah you can kite but the problem there is that they are you know so fast that they always catch you I really what I love is I the um, how these automated sentinel cannons actually look like I think they look pretty neat I need healing. Oh, that was a nice hit there I didn't pay enough attention I guess first one down let's then take down the second one as well take the healing portion because I don't want to die against a slow moving um, bullet so to speak so I was hoping actually to, to, to do just a few hits there. So this gun is gone. Let's take this one out as well. Now I retreat. What I have to say, the once you are, you know, advancing in a new level or on a new map, so to speak, the good part is at the beginning it's always hard because you do not have much space but once the space is getting um, bigger it is a little bit cooler to um, go on so i'm going to do a wait do i get here instantly okay do the okay we don't get to the industrial uh, we get to the industrial port but not to the um little um, secret laboratory. So guys, I'm gonna cut out the way to the secret laboratory. We will see us in a second. 
and back we are guys um, I always think it is neat to you know cut out the unnecessary um, you know ways which are too long I I'm guessing you know at some point this game or the let's play is relatively redundant because you you know technically always are clearing out maps but you know that's just um, the game and how the game is so that is clear and that is something I'm always letting in the let's play but certain things like if you now have to go all the way from the waypoint to here to the um, secret laboratory which you know takes one minute two minutes I think that is then unnecessary time spent for you unless you know there is something you need or you have to talk about then of course that I think is a good thing to you know get the time done but otherwise I cut it out but why do I even talk about that I do not know so we go on and I what I'm actually looking for I be um, I be honest there that uh, when we advance here and do not face the ornithopters anymore because I think they are not only aggravating but annoying as well because you know they are really fast little buggers somehow like mosquitoes <laughs> small painful fast ugly all the good jazz there Some healing potions would be nice so I would like to take him down like so and take a health portion and what I actually at the current state of the game and our character character progress so far what I do enjoy is that we are quite often are doing critical hits and that is really really amazing um, not anymore <laughs> But as you have seen before against the swarms they are really, really were critting like crazy. And that is always nice to see. So these guys fall as well. These are actually enemies I <laughs> do like because they are not doing too too much damage and you know they can do damage if they actually would be fast enough to get you but as you can see most parts they are really really slow and are not able to do too too much of harm otherwise of course the ornithopters there so whoa 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 there all right Ah, we spawn here directly. I want to take them down right now. I don't have there you, you can see what two of these guys can actually pose for um, problems to you. Because, you know, when they shoot and both of them are hitting you, that is, you know, life-changing, so to speak, for your character at least. And then the automated um, sentinel mechanisms here as well. Annoying little buggers, I can only say. So, can't take that down. Okay, um, on we go. Alright, in tight corners here they these guys are not really cool as you can see. And what I really have to think about for the um, for the next time is that we are actually going to buy some health portions because we are now kind of in a world of hurt here. So I um actually okay anyhow okay there we I can't do that. I um, switched the combos here, I don't even know how, but that is, well anyhow, a little bit annoying but fair enough there. 
So let's collect. I know you. You're that annoying monster slayer who fills these tunnels with piles of corpses. Bet you never think about us poor sods who have to clean up your mess. Work, work, work without a bite to eat. This strange creature has a point, you know. I almost feel bad now. He said that he was hungry. Maybe I could offer him something to eat. Don't waste my time. Go on. Do the job you were created for. I go with the first one. He said that he was hungry. Maybe I could offer him something to eat. My, my. A kind soul after all. That's a first. You know what? I'll show you a secret tunnel that leads to a hidden part of the sewers. Um, fair enough. But I would like to go back, actually. Okay, I can't. Damn it! Because we haven't collected all the loot. But there is something I like about this game. That you are, you know, able to come back. Your loot is not wasted as the maps are static and, of course, being saved. That is quite nice. So, these guys gone. Light plate. Taking some gold with us, some nice loot. Always loving chests, to be honest, in every game out there. Alright, um, let's identify then the little armor. Maybe it's for us, maybe not. Well, it's for us, but not really good. But I think it would look amazing at us. That's too bad. Anyhow, let's then go through the ink portal. Okay, here we are back. Alright, then I do not... Ah, okay, we can go on there, I guess. Um, but for now, guys, we then... I would end this episode right now. No? Nah, well, let us do... Go on a tiny little bit. A little bit of time we still have left on the clock. So, these guys gone us. And they are somehow behind... Um, cover there. That is nasty, I have to say. So slowly taking them out. Gone there. That's really nice and good for us. Taking every loot possible with us. Because, you know, you never know how, um, you know, what kind of good or bad loot there is. So now it's, of course, going to be a little dicey again. Alright, here we are. And that's the perfect point to stop this episode, guys. Um, next time we will speak with the inventor, but for now we are at the end of this episode. I, as usual, really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And, well, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day, stay frosty, bye.